Hello, everyone. Welcome to Embracing Mattress. We're going to check the Divine Masculine Energy. Hope everyone is doing well. Oop. Cards are flying out already. And while I'm shuffling. Thank you to anyone that's like, share, subscribe if you purchased a reading. I'm getting to it. And if you have, <laughs> if you've donated to the page, I appreciate you so much. Thank you all. <clears throat> all right. there y'all oh, he knows you're the divine feminine I see it okay you just continue to shuffle and take what out something else flips okay we'll start here Spirituality, divine masculine uh, is learning spirituality, trying to get a better handle on it, okay? Learning how to compromise, may want to compromise with you, or is trying to figure out how to compromise with the situation that they have themselves in. Learning synchronicities right now, maybe seeing those numbers, 444, 555, 666, may need to look it up. If anyone here does not understand uh, what the synchronicities are. Um, you need to maybe put in angel number 555 in Google and read uh, what messages uh, the divine could be trying to give you. Willpower. He's learning lessons, right? As well, learning soul lessons needed to make himself whole again. Willpower, energetic determination, self-mastery, control, okay? Some of these urges is the reason why the, the masculine is not... Um, in union with the divine feminine willpower was was low and caused him to go elsewhere he's triggered by thinking about the divine feminine right now he has guilt wounds right feel sorry about what the things he's done uses uh, guilt to manipulate and he's afraid to set boundaries and it's a lot of the situations that they're in right now they're not setting boundaries with the people they're with they're feeling very overloaded mentally Lots of things coming at him at one time. Lots of bills. I feel that financially, uh, the divine masculine is not in a good place. And he's trying to figure out how to get there. I feel like mentally, he's not in a good place. Guilt is consuming him. I feel like a lot of the divine masculines felt that they were going down a path that they needed to go down. I feel like whatever it is, if they had a family situation with someone, they were they felt like they were doing what they needed to do. A lot of these divine masculines come from a broken home, meaning they had mother and father, but maybe the mother and father were not together. Um, so they put in their mind that they would never walk away from their home situation. Um, so instead of walking away totally from the home situation, they created these alternate lifestyles where they had open relationships with the people that they had children with. And that, that made it so that they were able to go in and out and, and also have a relationship with other people. Um, when the partner of the divine masculine found out that either they've met or have been in contact with the divine feminine, um, you got to remember and understand that a lot of these people that they're with are some sort of karmic soulmate. So, you know, you've had many, many lifetimes dealing with this situation, battling this situation. So, yeah, it's recognized immediately that person that they are with is in defensive mode. They're doing the black magic. They're doing the things that they need to do to in order to hold 
the masculine in place, okay? Putting stuff in, in their uh, uh, pastas, okay? Putting, you know, yeah, that nasty shit we'd be talking about where they've been putting stuff in their food uh, to try and control them. Um, they're doing whatever it is that they feel that they need to do in order to hold the masculine there because they feel like they're losing. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling that right now between the divine masculine and the person that they're with, it's a battle going on of like, who's going to win? I'm going to win at any level. I'm going to do whatever the hell I have to do to win between the two of them right now. It's been like that for many different lifetimes. And this is why it's like that now. The divine masculine is needing to stand up and 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 choose themselves to um, put self-love into themselves, to understand that the situation that they're in is okay, to heal the family, the broken family issues that have caused them to want to try to be in a connection like this. Okay, yes, being there for your children is a great thing, but being in a situation where you are showing those children or child that... Yes, I love your mother, okay, but this is unhealthy. That's not helping your child, okay? Bringing yourself out of that and then, then being there as a light for your child and allowing them to have, you know, the different households or what have you that, that bring balance for them is what is needed here. And I'm not trying to break off homes. I don't want you guys to understand what I'm saying here, but... I'm really do I'm really feeling that there's masculines that feel like it's their duty to stay in a fucked up situation because of what their parents did to them. And I'm here to tell you, we can't relive what our parents did to us. Okay? We are meant to try and choose different ways of helping our family situations. Just because it was something that your parent did or your aunt or your uncle, your grandparent, what have you, is not something that will necessarily work for your life because what, what, the, what the archangels of our highest good, uh, our, our benevolent ancestors and everyone is, the ancestors on the other side trying to co help us correct the shit that they've done or the things that, that happened. And I really do feel like there's, there's masculines that are really not listening, but they're coming into a better understanding of what's being asked of them. If you guys could rock with me, okay? The ancestors on the other side are trying to guide them in a different way than what they have been conditioned to in this lifetime. And a lot of masculines are going to need to wake up to that. There's also masculines here, feminines, that no matter what they wake up to, they're still not going to be good for you because of the simple fact that they do bring a level of toxicity. And some of them, with this willpower, okay, some of them are only able or only want to go to a certain level of 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 healing of of spiritual learning spiritual knowledge you know when they get into this they start getting triggered by it right but when something triggers you there's a reason and that's what you need to try to delve into go within try to figure out what's going on there what what is giving you that's really giving you the the pull and the pushback but a lot of them are afraid of that okay and a lot of them are just damn stubborn as hell to where they feel like it's their thoughts, their way, their everything is the way that it should be. And what I've learned so far with this journey is that it's not about what you feel here. It's about what your ancestors, it's about what your, uh, um, your higher self is trying to guide you to do. Your soul is talking to you. As above, so below. Your soul is talking to you. Okay? If you choose to not listen and you choose to go and use your, your free will and do something other than that, that's on you. Okay? Anyway, I'm sorry, guys. I'm going on a tangent, but 
it's, it's very important for me to let somebody out here know. He knows that you're his divine feminine. He knows that you're sacred feminine, right? He recognizes that you are his home. You are his comfort. You are the love, okay? My masculine used to call me his son, all right? He knows who you are, okay? Absolutely. He's gaining the knowledge, right? Trying to better understand the connection with the, the counterpart by reading books, searching the internet, watching tarot card readings, etc. He's still with the karmic partner, right? Still learning lessons, maybe coming out of that now, maybe trying to figure out how to get out of this, right? His soul's journey is needing this. Forgiveness of self and of others. It was just put on my heart as well by my guides to tell some female here that it is not your job to report anything that you see on these tarot card readings to your masculine. What that does is that stops them from learning their lesson. It is your job to understand what their lesson is, but to allow them to go on their path so that the universe can help them and guide them to where they need to be. Because if, if you're doing something where you're saying, you know, I watched this tarot card reading and they said this is going to happen, this is going to happen, that's going to happen. Yeah, they're able to avoid their karma. And this is not what you want right now because if you are, are seriously wanting this person, this person that you love, this person that's a part of you, this person that's been a, a part of your life for many, many lifetimes, okay, Yes, we want to go into protective mode, absolutely. But if you feel that you need to, to tell them and to warn them of the things that may be coming their way, that's not what, what, what needs to happen because they have got to go through the lessons on their own. They gotta do it without your help, okay? Your love, you wanna send them love and light. Um, you want to pray for them, absolutely. You want to send them love, send them care, send them, you know? Please, you know, protect them, what have you, as they go through the lessons that they need to learn. But in no um, no way, shape, or form should you be doing anything to stop them from going through their lessons because they're not going to learn the things they need to learn to be able to elevate themselves to your spiritual level, to your spiritual frequency. They're not going to be able to come to you. They will not. And this is why you'll hear other readers saying, oh, they're coming they're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're still going through their lessons. Yes, they're going through their lessons because they're not learning them. And a lot of them are having to keep going through the same lessons because they're not elevating. They're not paying attention. They're not doing the things and the work that they need to do to have this reconciliation with you. Okay? They have to go through that. Look, we have divine masculine and divine feminine on this deck. And this is the first time I've seen them both at the same time. Okay, right? Sacred masculine journey back to self. This is what he's on right now. He's on this journey back to himself, learning who he is, feeling who he is, knowing what to do, what's going on, who is the feminine, who is the true feminine. We have these partners that they're currently with that's acting like us. They're using defensive tactics manipulation, magic to create an atmosphere where they look like the divine feminine. The masculines are now opening up to this, as you can see. Right? They're communicating with you via telepathy because they're also seeing this, right? They're able to hear your thoughts. You want to watch your thoughts right now, feminines? Watch what you're feeling. If you feel yourself going to a sense of, of feeling sad or melancholy, n pick yourself up, do something, play some music, dance around. I don't care what you do, but do what you need to do right now to pick yourself up in any way that you can, okay? Because that could be the masculine's energy that's coming to you because he's feeling sad or, or depressed or what have you. Pick yourself up because they can actually feel, you know, the energy between the two of you. 
You can feel your mood. Right? He's fighting with his ego. He, right? It's ang anxious, anxiety. He's limiting his beliefs, toxic thinking patterns. These are the things that are causing him to not be in union with his feminine. The things that he was thinking, the things that he was doing, right? Were causing to not have commitment. He was having commitment issues. Um, a lot of the masculines do have commitment issues, right? Trust issues that stem from their childhood. They're afraid to be hurt. They don't trust anyone, right? They find ways not to trust people. They feel insecure. A lot of the masculines has a father that was in and out of their life or the father had a lot of things that he would promise that he did not do. A lot of times the mother would promise a lot of things that she could not do specifically because she just didn't have it like that, okay? So masculine grew up not trusting or not wanting to believe that something is as good as it could be, right? So you, feminines, were someone that was too good to be true. So yeah, I, I ain't with that. I ain't with that because this ain't real, you know, because my whole life, you know, I've been promised things or I was given things that got taken away or yada, yada. So, you know, I'm, I'm just not rocking with that. I'd be over here. I'd rather deal with the person that is manipulative or the person that is shitty to my face because I, at least I know what I'm getting. I'm hearing. Right? Soulmates. He has a soulmate over there and you're also a soulmate, which is also a divine partner. Okay, looking at the signs, signs and synchronicities are out here twice, heartbreak, right? They may be looking at the signs that, that are telling them that they're not with their true person or the signs that are telling them, hey, when you was with your divine feminine, this is how she treated you. This person here treats you like this. What's the difference? That's a sign. Right? It's breaking their heart that they're getting a better understanding of this right now. Right? They may not like it. They may not like what they're going through. So the per person they're with right now are trying to ruin their image. Maybe trying to make them look a certain way with their family, friends, etc. Right? They may be deleting messages out of Divine Masculine's phone. If some of you are texting your Divine Masculine. Or the Divine Masculine is deleting stuff out of his phone. Okay? Someone's lurking, right? I believe it's that partner that they're with, watching everything that the, the masculine is doing, right? Psycho comes out here. Yeah, they have some traits where where they feel like they it's, it's do or die. You know, they got to do what they do. Dangerous. This person has been moving in a dangerous light. I told you guys that they're doing things with magic and stuff of that nature, right? Gossip's going on, right? Gossiping to someone, to people. They're talking about either you feminines or to about their masculine threats right they're going through this with their masculine right now i told you these masculines are in the battle in, in a war with the person that they they chose over you shady right subliminally throwing shade okay could be doing that towards you right someone's making fake accounts Trying to watch people. Shit just got real. That's what I just heard. Angry. Busted. And the masculine found out something. And this is what they're fighting. That the phone was ringing. But the masculine just found out something. And this is why they're fighting. Masculine may have told the person that they want to leave, that they're ready to go. And 
their person is not trying to have it. See? Fight. They want to get physical. Mentally unstable. A lot of these karmic partners um, have been able to hold the masculines in place because they're saying that they're going to physically do something to themselves. Um, someone has evil eye for you, feminines. Okay? She may be a little bit jealous of you because the masculine has love for you. There's more secrets that you don't know about from your masculine. Manipulation going on here. Someone's getting their karma and feeling very insecure about it. Okay? This is like a soap opera. I just want to say that. Okay. It's a bad soap opera. Right? It's a karmic. Karmic soulmate. Okay, and up until this point, your divine masculine has been a karmic person to you, feminines. Understand it. Okay? They have not added any value to your life. They just gave you the lessons that you needed to learn to elevate yourself, right? But they're going to be in a karmic type of situation until they elevate their vibration and learn the lessons that they need to learn. Right? I choose to be celibate until you come back to me for somebody's masculine here. Somebody saying that to, to you feminines. They're saying, hey, I ain't messing with her. You don't know what this is. I ain't even having sex with her like that. I'm in a committed, long-term relationship. I have been playing you. Someone's masculine is saying. All right. Wet dreams remind me of you. Tried to replace you, but you cannot be replaced. Absolutely. How do you replace your arm? You can't. The other person's arm ain't even gonna look right, yo. I can't stop thinking of you when I'm with them. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. Let's get it. We're gonna stop right there with the cards because a whole bunch of them popped out at once. I want to be a part of your future. I want you to be a part of my future, okay? My shadow side is strong. I have many secrets. We have secrets out here on the deck twice. My karmic won't let go, right? Because they're in the battle right now trying to get the hell away from the person that they left you for. Right? For somebody's masculine, this all started off as, as a friends with benefits type of situation. You're just someone I wanted to have sex with, right? This could be the initial, right? This could be somebody that wants to come back. Your masculine could be trying to come back to you to initiate another sexual relationship. And this is the masculine that's not willing, willing and ready to do the work that they need to do to be able to come back to you. Elevated. A lot of masculines are, are not using their willpower and are not elevating themselves. It's just the truth. They're going to come back to you and offer you some bull. Because in the past, this is something that you took. Right? No commitment. Fuck boy. Fuck girl. It's the way I roll. That type shit. This is what they want. Some of them. Okay? Not all of them. I've been cheating on you. But you know that already. Right? Some of them are choosing to reject this journey with you to stay with the partner that they're with. Right? Somebody's, you know, their, their, their uh, karmic is pregnant. They recognize they're your divine masculine. They don't want to settle down with you because they're already in a situation where they're settled with someone else. And I don't know what to do. I am so ashamed. All right, guys. This has been the message. Sorry for the longevity. I know I talk too much. But I needed you guys to understand some things that were coming to me um, from my guides. Okay? 
And just so that you guys know, I'm in this totally with you, okay? My masculine, the person that I believe is my masculine, um, ghosted me a few times, left me a few times, and then I started to go through the awakening process to where my ancestors, okay, uh, um, my, my angels and spirits, were telling me to walk away. Walking away was the hardest thing I have ever had to do. Because in my heart, this is my person. This is a person that I see forever with. I look for this man for 20 years. I was married. I divorced someone else. Went through this whole time frame. Wondering, caring, loving the person that I had a connection with when I was 18, 19 years old. It took me 20 years to get back to my masculine and once I got to him I had already had in my mind that hell or high water is not going to keep me from you so I had this right and I think the, in the, the intensity of the connection between us was so that he wanted to indulge in it and didn't tell me the truth so four years went on of me being breadcrumbed me being ghosted, me having to fight for a union where I was totally doing everything for, where he was just doing this tiny little bit and I'm feeling, oh, if I just do more, if I just do this, if I do that, or I can do this, you know, to make him love me, to make him come towards me, to, to make him finally commit to me the way that I have always seen us being. I had to learn, go through that awakening process and learn to love myself more. Yes, okay, this is definitely, could be, you know, your person. This is your person. But no matter who it is or the circumstance, you need to love yourself first and understand that you have done everything that you need to do. You have loved them as much as you can possibly love them. Now it's time for you to love yourself enough to walk the fuck on and away from this person because you have not shown me and not have not given me the dedication, the love, the honor, the respect, the care that I require. Okay? I've given you all of me, but you've given me this much of you. No. Okay? I can't do that. And my guides told me to walk on, all right? And that they would send me someone that would give me everything that I needed. All right? And I just want you guys to know that, that um, I have been dating. The men that I, I find myself in contact with, just regular, you know, platonic dating already have been showing signs of being a king from the door. Understand? Not that low vibrational bull crap that I was used to. So it's a mind change. It's a perception change. It's a, I love myself enough to make sure that I have the things that I need. Yes, I want to contribute. Yes, I want to help. Yes, I want to be a light in someone else's life. But they also have to be a light in mine. They also have to contribute to my life. They also have to show me that they see my worth. Like I have always shown them that I see theirs. Okay? Anyway, guys, send in love and light to all. If anyone needs me, holler at me. Okay? Information's in the box below. Bye-bye.